today we celebrate St. Camillus de Lelis. He turned from his life as a soldier and a big-time gambler to become the founder of an order dedicated to caring for the sick. He was born in 1550 around Naples. In Italy, his mother died during his infancy. He lost his father, a former army officer, six years later. He took after his late father professionally, serving in the armies of Venice and Naples until 1574. While in the service, he developed a severe gambling problem. He repented of the habit when he found himself impoverished and forced to do menial work for whom? For a group of Franciscans. In February of that year, he resolved to change his life and join the order. A wound in one of his legs, however, was seen as incurable and kept him from becoming a Franciscan. After this rejection, he traveled to Rome and worked for four years in a hospice. Committed to a life of prayer and penance, he wore a hair shirt and received spiritual direction from the great Saint Philip Neri. He was upset with the service that was given to the sick and decided to form an association of Catholics who would provide them with both physical and spiritual care. So he studied for the priesthood and was ordained in 1584. Members of his order worked in hospitals, prisons, and in the homes of those afflicted by disease. The order's original name, the Fathers of Good Death, reflected the desire to aid in their spiritual salvation. Later on, it was known as the Order of the Ministers or of the Sick, or simply as the Chameleons. The group received papal approval in 1586. In addition to the vows of poverty, chastity, and obedience, they took a vow of unfailing service to the sick. Hmm? He himself suffered physical ailments throughout his life. His leg wound failed to heal over the course of more than 50 years, in addition to which he suffered from sores and severe kidney trouble. But he is said to have spent time with the sick even while unable to walk by crawling from bed to bed. Hmm? The founder of the Ministers of the Sick lived to assist at a general chapter of his order in Rome in 1613 and to make a last visitation of many of their hospitals. Learning that he himself was incurably ill, he responded, I rejoice on what has been told me. We shall go into the house of the Lord. Receiving the Eucharist for the last time, he declared, O Lord, I confess I am the most wretched of sinners, most undeserving of your favor, but save me by your infinite goodness. My hope is placed in your divine mercy through your precious blood. After giving his last instructions to the members of his order, he died and was canonized by Benedict XIV in 1746 and later on named along with St. John of God as one of the two main co-patrons of nurses and nursing associations. St. Camillus, well, in spite of all the difficulty and sick and pain, he gave it all for the sick and those who were suffering great pain. God bless him. Let us imitate him in our lives.